Hi guys, thanks for stopping back to my channel. I'm doing my June, uh, this is what I'm burning for the month of June, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what I'm burning for the month of June. So basically I pick 8 to 10 candles that I want to get through in the month of June. And I just talk about them a little bit and then you guys get to see what I'm going to be enjoying this upcoming month. Alright, so let's just get right into it. Um, eight different candles that I've chosen. Uh, right now, as you can see, um, I'm burning Baja C Cactus Blossom, which I think I'm going to put a review up soon, um, like when I get more than halfway done with it. Um, and then in this holder right here, I have Coconut Van Vanilla um, by Bath & Body Works, and it, it's really bad, so I'm not going to review that because it's just really terrible. <laughs> Um, so yeah, next up, though, I want to get through this, um, Bath and Body Works Endless Weekend. This is in the frosted, frosted glass. As you can see, um, this type of thing. This didn't come with a lid, but I saved my lids, and so I can use them for exactly this reason. Um, I'm excited to burn this one. Um, I love, 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 love the way it smells. So, I'm really excited for it. Yes, it is so sweet. Oh, it is like perfectly sweet. Um, it has uh, mandarin, sun, uh, magnolia, coconut water, and yeah. It smells, it smells so good. I don't know how to explain it. Um, having the lid on there, I feel like, has definitely made it smell a little bit stronger when you open it up, though. Definitely, because it smells stronger than what it did when I got it in the store. Alright, and then I want to get through. Uh, this is uh, last year's, I think, version of Coconut Leaves. Um, I bought this at a sem the summer annual sale last year. So, I've never burned coconut leaves before, and I really want to try it. And this one is coconut milk, macadamia nuts, and fresh green sugar cane. It smells so good. It is so good smelling, and I'm really excited to burn that one. I'm sorry, I know what I say, every candle just smells good, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, and then we have Tiki Beach. This one is also from last year, I think. Um, and Tiki Beach is, um, is out right now. It is vanilla musk, orchids, and toasted coconut. This one's nice too, and I'm really excited to try it. I've never burned Tiki Beach before. And then, um, I have, this is the Crinkle Candle in Black Sands. Uh, I hate this candle more than anything in the world. Um, as you can see, I think I'm like more than halfway done with it. Um, I've just been burning it now and again, like the past few months, um, as soon as like the weather started getting nicer, because this is a straight up cologne smell. Like this is, uh, uh, it's like an old man just took a shower. It is so bad. I just imagine like a hairy man. Um, but I love the packaging on these candles, but, uh, anyways, uh, Black Sands, it's Black Coral, Ocean Lavender, Aquatic, Coconut Water, Vetiver Mist, and Amber. Um, yeah, it's terrible, and, um, I'm sure that cologne, people that like cologne fragrances would love this candle, but it is just not something I'm into. So, I'm just gonna set that back there. That's, that's... I kind of want to get through that one this month just to have it out and get it out of the way. And uh, going along with the Kringle uh, trend is this is Espresso Crema. Oh, maybe it'll focus. Yes, Espresso, espresso Crema. Uh, yeah, this one. The notes are coffee bean, creamy vanilla, warm caramel, sweet milk, honey, brown sugar. Uh, this one's pretty nice. Um, I burned it for the first time, um, the other day. It was, it was pretty good, so not too exciting, but it was definitely better than the mocha latte swirl candle from Bath & Body Works. That thing was terrible, 
So this is definitely much better. It's more of like a sophisticated coffee smell. Um, and if I don't get through this one this month, that'll be fine. I can always save it because um, it's good for any time, really. So yeah, that was Espresso Crema. I kind of want to get through that one just to get it out of the way because I do have, um, including these two, I have five Kringle candles in my collection that I kind of just want to get through and try out and maybe buy some more if I like them. Um, all right, and then these next three are just kind of oddballs. Um, I'll start with this little, this little four ounce guy. This is Sprinkled Cupcake, and I got this from Target. Uh, burn time up to 15 hours, wow. And I already burned this once. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. This is how it burned. Um, yeah, because the wick is kind of tilted to that way, it's not burning on the right side, so yeah. But the packaging is super cute, just like this little tin. Um, but yeah, it's just... This just smells like a cupcake scent, you know, a cupcake vanilla scent. So, I kind of just want to get through that one. Just because I already started it, so why not use it up, you know? Alright guys, two more. Um, this one, oh, and if I didn't say, I got the Sprinkled Cupcake Candle um, at Target in their, like, dollar section. And this next one I also found at Target. This is um, the Chesapeake Bay Candle, Joy and Laughter. The fragrance is Cranberry Dahlia, I believe. This was also in my What I'm Burning uh, June video. <laughs> I never bur burnt it. Wait, no, it's May. Oh my gosh, What I'm Burning in May video. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that was in my What I'm Burning in May video and never ended up burning it in May. So maybe I'll get through it in June. This is just a really um, a good scent. Um... This is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it smells like cranberries with, there's something, there's something that makes this spa-like. I don't know if there is maybe a, like a white floral in there or something, but I don't usually tend to go towards florals. It's definitely a perfumey scent though, so I don't know. I'm excited to try it. It's just very different, and if I like it, they're still available right now at Target if you guys are interested and wanted to check them out. This is the only scent I liked though. All right, and lastly, I have my Swan Creek Candle. An apricot blackberry. Uh, this smells delicious. I got it at the uh, Swan Creek Candle outlet store in, uh, oops, no, it's not going to focus, um, for $11.25 uh, at, at the outlet store uh, near my house. So I'm actually pretty lucky to live next to a Swan Creek Candle place. Um, but yeah, this is a... Apricot Blackberry is a tangy, zesty, berry, nectarine scent, if that makes sense. It's sweet, but very tart and tangy. Oh, and I just want to show you guys how cool the wax is in there. Okay, I know it looks really weird, but it's so cool when you touch it. When I touch this and rub it... It like breaks off, of course, and it because it's so like melty. Like you can, okay, you can't. You can see on my thumb there. It's so melty, and it feels like uh, it has like the consistency of like if you melted like chips, the chocolate chips for like baking and stuff. It taste it. It doesn't taste. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's uh, feels like how the chocolate feels like when it's first melted and uh, still kind of chunky and not like totally melted. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yeah, I'm excited to uh, try and get through this one maybe if I'm lucky. I do have a lot of full-sized candles that I want to get through. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are burning uh, this upcoming month of June. Uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Bye.